Yo, what is going on guys? Back with another video. So for today's video, we're gonna be unboxing five mystery boxes, but there is a catch to this video that is really cool. So basically every single box I'm gonna actually be unboxing in this video is just gonna keep getting more valuable every single box. So for an example, the first box we're gonna be unboxing is $100, and then it goes to $200, $300, $400, and then $500 for just one box. So as we continue on the video, every single box is just gonna keep getting more crazier than the last. So let's jump straight into it with box number one. We're gonna be obviously starting with the $100 box and then working our way up to the $500 box. All right, I'll see you guys in the POV. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so this is our first box. This is going to be the $100 box. Um, by the way, guys, after all these guns are actually unboxed, I'm going to do shooting tests of all of them, so don't worry. That'll be at the end, and we'll get to actually shoot all of the guns we unboxed. So first up, we're gonna start with the $100 box and work our way up. Let's jump straight into it. Let's see what we got. All right, gonna be sliding this bad boy out of here. All right. First up, before we see what gun we got, let's see what's at the bottom. Ooh. So first up, we got a little patch. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. So what's cool about this mystery box too, because normally when I do mystery boxes, they only come with only the guns, um, you know, like pistols or AGs or whatever they come with. But this actually has some gear with it too, which is really cool. This is a camo head net, which is pretty cool. We actually have some shotgun shells. So I'm actually not sure if these have to do with the gun, but um, we'll have to see in a second. So, so we got some shotgun shells. We also got some uh, BBs, some .20s. I actually need these for the chronograph later. And we got a ICS game sticker. We got a speed loader that's orange. I've actually never seen one of these orange. That's kind of cool. And we also got a Condor tactical gear. What is this? Two point sling. So that's actually really handy. I think I actually might use this. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what the gun is. I'm actually not sure. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. So we actually got a Spaz 12. This is a ASG, a three round burst shotgun, which is pretty cool. That's actually why we got this. So actually we have the sling for it. We have the speed loader and we have the shotgun shells for this bad boy. So we got everything we need. All right, so let's see what this bad girl looks like. Um, and I'll actually put the price of this gun on the screen now. All right, so this is what we got. It actually comes with a shotgun shell holder, which is actually really, really, really helpful if you're on the field and using a shotgun. I've actually never shot a ASG one, so see how this is. Pretty cool. I've never actually had one with the extended sock too. This thing's pretty sweet. All right, so with further ado, let's move on to our next one. I don't want to keep you guys getting too bored, so we're going to move on quickly to the next box. All right, all right, all right. Moving on to our $200 box. This is going to be the next box up. Uh, making our way quickly, let's go to the inside of this bad boy and see what we got. So obviously this one at this price point, I'm kind of expecting, that's pretty much what I expected for that one, kind of like a cheaper gun with some accessories. But this one is getting a little bit more expensive definitely. So let's see if we got a actual full AG or a full airsoft gun, or it's gonna be something like the first box and just gonna be kind of a cheaper gun with a whole bunch of accessories. Let's see what we got. Slide her on out. All right, and this one of course is upside down again. So this one, like the first box, we actually have some stuff in here besides the actual gun itself. Let's see what we got. So the first thing we got in this box is a condor hat. Pretty cool, I will wear this with my Airsoft Club patches. Um, if you guys do wanna join the Airsoft Club, that is my membership club, where I'm gonna be giving away every single one of these guns today on the club. So if you like the guns you see, I don't even know what guns I'm gonna get today, but I already know I'm gonna give them away just cause I love my club members that much. And I give away a gun every single week. So if that is something you guys want to actually be a part of um, it is the first link down in the description below and you can win a gun every single week and you also get uh, benefits to a exclusive discord chat and some private videos and patches and stickers as well so first up in this we got a condor hat which is pretty cool we got a instar red dot sight reflex optic which is really cool all right so we got this little red dot sight it's very lightweight which is nice so it doesn't really add too much weight on the upper part of your gun which is really nice so i'm not 100 sure what this next thing is but i'm pretty sure it looks to be a laser I'm pretty sure. So yeah, so here is the laser actually with the pressure point, which is pretty nifty if you want to use a pressure point. Um, it obviously is really annoying without them. So that's really nice. And then we also got actually the mount. Oh, it does come with the batteries too. So we got the mount, the batteries, everything you need to put this on your gun. So let's see what we got for the gun. Boom. So we got a... Okay, so it looks like we got a GNG CM16 Raider L Desert. So that's pretty sweet. These guns are super reliable. Um, one of the best beginner guns I do recommend. Uh, so this thing is really cool and is very good for beginners. I just ripped the box, oopsie daisy. But uh, we got obviously the warranty kind of instructions, stuff from GNG you would obviously find. Oh, we actually forgot about this real quick. 
Um, this is a ASG light barrel extension. So before we move on to the actual gun, which we already did, I actually want to see what's in here real quick. I actually forgot about this thing real quick. I'm not sure what this is. It might be a suppressor of some sort. I'm not really sure. Let's see. So yeah, so we actually got a cool full suppressor. Um, I think this has like a locking mechanism, it looks like. So open is that way. Okay, so we actually can screw this onto our gun like right here on the threads and then it'll have like its own kind of suppressor or silencer, whatever you want to call it, which is really nice. Obviously, this doesn't really do anything. It is a airsoft gun, but it does look pretty cool. This gun, I think is around $160, $170 if I remember right. So obviously, we got a really cool gun and we got a red dot sight and a laser and a suppressor for it. So whoever wins this gun on my club will get all these things so you can deck it out to make the gun your own. So let's move on to the next thing. All right, guys. So after doing the $100 box, the $200 box we're going to move up to the $300 box this is where things start getting pretty spicy even the top of this box is actually kind of like poking out a little bit I think we got a thick boy in here so let's go open this up and see what we got so again, like the first two, I'm not sure if we're gonna get a $300 gun or get some kind of like $200 gun with a whole bunch of accessories. Let's see what we get. So, got this opened up. All right, we got some paper. And let's see what we got is our first item. Looks like we got some tactical airsoft lubricants. This looks like to be possibly maybe even a airsoft gas blowback gun. So let's see we actually what we got in this box. I'm just gonna kind of dump it out and see what we got. Oh, I don't want to break something. Hold on, what is this? Oh, we actually got some, uh, they're called X1000 goggles. All right, so this is our gun in here. Let's see what we got. I'm actually opening these all backwards, so. Oh, we got some other stuff too. Let's see what, let's see what else we got in here. So this guy's actually stuck in here. So, oh, we got a NC Star of vertical grip, which is really nice. So I'm actually curious, this might be some kind of M4. Ooh, and we also got some, uh, what are these? And we also got some nylon plastic D-ring carabiners, which is pretty random, but there you go. So let's see what gun we got here. It's actually upside down, so let's flip it over. So it looks to be a Echo 1 gun. Again, not sure what it is, but let's see. Ooh, one more little thing. Whoop. Oh, sick. Okay, so this looks like a little AK, which is really cool. So it obviously is a Echo One, like I said before. Comes with a really nifty, looks like a high cap magazine. Really cool. Oh, it looks like we actually got another magazine. Uh, this looks to be another high cap. So we got two high cap magazines, which is really nice. And we also got this really cool gun. See, this actually seems like it is. So this does seem like it is full metal. This thing looks really cool. I really like this kind of like AR slash AK kind of people are doing recently. And this thing is really stubby. Looks really cool. This would actually be a really fun gun on the field, I think. It's not too heavy. Usually AKs are super heavy. This is actually medium heavy and it's not too bad. Um, it actually is not on the light side, but this thing would actually be really fun on the field. And I think anyone would enjoy using this. So let's see if this looks cool with the magazine in there. Sweet. This thing is pretty sick. So obviously we got the full metal rail on the front there. Um, I think some of the body is metal and some of it is plastic, like this grip is plastic and some of the, I think the trigger mechanism and I think the upper and lower part seem to be metal, so that's pretty cool. Uh, most of this gun seems to be metal, but obviously the parts that don't matter, such as the stock, um, can be plastic, which is pretty cool. But obviously the price of this one is on the screen now. I cannot wait to shoot this at the end of the video. All right, all right, all right. Doing pretty good so far. Let's jump on to the $400 box. This is obviously getting real spicy with this bad boy. Let's see what we got on this one. So obviously with this kind of price tag, you're looking for some really cool high quality guns. So I'm really excited to see what we get in these next two boxes. All right, so first up, something with Lancer Tactical. All right, so it looks like we have a Lancer Tactical red dot sight, which is really cool. Off the a $50 price tag, which is probably pretty nice. So let's see what it looks like. Obviously, this does come with the batteries too, which is really nice. I'm guessing you put the battery right here, like so, and then you just kind of twist it for your different light settings. And the best part about that is you get a Eagle Boy. All right, so first off, pretty cool. We got the red dot sight. Let's see what else we got in here. Oof. That is a heavy boy. All right, so other things on this box, we actually got a ASG lens protector, which is very, very helpful for this red dot sight. It looks like we got a Lancer Tactical little gun patch, which is really cool. Looks like we got a little coyote kind of patch for, 
I'm not sure what this is, maybe kind of some kind of random gun. It doesn't really look to be an M4 size, so I'm actually very curious what this gun is. Maybe this is kind of the same size that we're going to be need for this gun. So let's see. Looks like we also got a mid cap from Lancer Tactical. It holds 130 rounds, which is pretty cool for a mid cap. Almost like a high cap, but it, you don't have to worry about winding when these are really nice. They always feed uh, super cool. I always recommend mid cap magazines. So let's see what we actually got in this box. So let's turn around and see what we got. So, ooh, don't know what that is. So it is a ASG something, CQBR. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see what we got. So you got some kind of owner manual, magazine, stuff like that. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Whoop. Whoa. I don't even know what to say. That is crazy. So it's like an M4 body. Looks to be full metal as well, but it has this crazy CQBR stock and this crazy grip, which I think is really unique and cool. Let's actually see what this is all about. So obviously this thing is full metal. It feels really nice as well. Obviously, as the packages get more expensive, you do get quite a bit of a difference between, let's say, this $300 one, the $200 one, and the $400 one. This thing is full metal, it looks like. It's got really cool, like, flip-up sights, which is really nice. You obviously uh, need these for some action. This thing is just really cool. So this is, I think, is a plastic grip. Um, this seems to be kind of plastic on the back, but besides that, I think everything else, the upper and the lower and the rail, all seem to be metal, which is really nice. But this thing actually feels pretty good with the stock system and the way you grip. I don't know why it's just kind of honestly kind of comfortable. You can do like kind of do a C grip like this or you kind of hold it like that or even kind of do something like that. It'd be kind of weird, but this is kind of a cool grip. You can kind of do whatever you want, which is kind of really nice for like a CQB gun. You know, you don't want to worry about like how to grip it exactly. You just kind of grab onto it really quickly, which is kind of cool. All of the trademarks, all of the kind of CQBR uh, stuff they put on there, like the grip and the stock, everything looks really cool, looks super high quality, but I'm curious if the looks are the same as the performance. So we'll see you at the end of this video. All right, everyone, this one is obviously the heaviest one of the bunch, surprisingly. It is not the longest and is not the fattest, like there's no peaking areas, but this one is definitely the heaviest. Actually, after carrying all those boxes, this one is definitely the heaviest one. I'm really excited to jump into this one, see what we get. This one is $500 just for this box. I'm really curious what we get. Let's jump straight into it. So we actually are seeing kind of like a theme with these boxes. Every single package has kind of a airsoft gun and then kind of accessories or you know parts or red dot sights to actually match the gun you get inside, which is I think is really cool. So not only do you get a airsoft gun yourself, you actually get kind of parts to kind of customize it as your own, which I think is really cool. All right, so this is the finale. No idea what we're gonna get in this guy. Um, this could really be anything. So let's start obviously pouring out some stuff and see what we get in here before we see the gun itself. Right, so, oh, so first up, we actually have a pistol. So, this is a ASG CZ P01 Shadow, which is actually pretty cool. I've actually never heard of this gun. Obviously, we're gonna unbox this and check it out with you guys real quick. So, this thing actually looks pretty cool from the packaging. Let's see what it looks like in person. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. I think it is a CO2 pistol. Yeah, so this is really interesting. So it has the CO2 cartridge in there, and you actually have the BBs kind of go on the top there. I'm pretty sure this isn't a super expensive gun. Obviously, it doesn't even have a, a slide that goes back. It seems to be all plastic, and the magazine seems pretty cheap. Uh, so this is the price of that on the screen. I've actually never seen one of these. This is pretty cool. Now that we have a pistol, we definitely know it is not a pistol, so we'll probably get some kind of primary gun to match this pistol combination with. What else do we get? Oh, we actually have a full holster here. I'm guessing this is for the pistol as well from Condor. Um, pretty nice, obviously and very nifty. If you have a pistol, you're gonna want one of these bad boys. Um, obviously that is a cool addition. I'm not sure if maybe this is a pistol in here or if it actually is for that pistol right there. Let's see. All right, so this is for the finale. Let's see what else we got. Oh, something else is coming out. Let's see. We got some 0.8 grams from Elite Force, which is pretty nice. Obviously you always need the BBs for your battle, so that's always a plus. Um, let's see what else we got. We got a, a one point sling, which is really nice. These are, I actually prefer these over two point slings, fun fact. Um, sometimes obviously a two point is a better advantage for things like sniper rifles, you can kind of put it on your back. But overall for like M4 and a pistol combination, I do like the one point slings more. We also got a Lancer Tactical, cool little patch. So I'm reaching, I do see some things in here as well. We have a airsoft lubricant kind of little bottle there. Uh, we have a, a little foregrip you can put on some looks like a key mod rail. So maybe this has a key mod. Usually key mod guns in recent terms have been a little bit more high quality than the rail guns. That's kind of like the style uh, of modern guns so far. So this might be son of a nice gun. All right, so I cannot show you guys what magazine this is because I'll actually give away the gun. Um, there's no reason to give away this magazine unless you're not giving away the gun. So obviously I cannot show you guys that. Obviously I know what the gun is now. That's really exciting. It's a really cool gun. I cannot just shoot that. But what else we got in here? We actually have a, oh, another 
or Lancer Tactical Red Dot Sight. Let's see which one this is. I'm actually curious if this is the same one we got already or if it is a different one. We'll check it out real quick. So this looks to be a little bit of a cheaper version of the one we already have, but it looks to be exactly the same. I think this is a $35 one. The other one was a $50 one, but it looks to be actually the same style. Um, actually, it's not the same style. So instead of the kind of battery system being up here, it's actually on the side and you can put the batteries in here like so. Hopefully it does come with the batteries for you guys, whoever wins this gun. Let's see if it does. Yep, so you do have the batteries. If you do win this gun, this will be a good match for this guy and you can put this on right here. And then it is a green dot, which I do prefer the green dot. It's better for outdoor and indoor. You can just kind of pop it down to the one of the lower settings and it does the job perfectly fine. All right, so I think that's actually everything in this box. So now is the final gun we're gonna get. This is something, obviously I know what the gun is because of the magazine but you guys don't so let's see what we got in here all right so this is what we got guys a scorpion cz evo carbine which just looks really cool even not even opening up this looks really cool design uh this little patch should come out too it's a ics airsoft uh, patch as well which is really nice but let's see what this thing actually looks like sheesh all right this thing is super sick. So we have a little cool manual. It's a CZ Evo Scorpion. I have seen these a lot in the field in this kind of uh, form, which a lot of people like that little kind of style for more of a CQB gun. But this thing, I've actually never seen too many of these and this thing looks really cool. A really nice magazine for your super high-end purchase of a airsoft gun. Um, this is actually how much it costs on the screen. I'm actually not sure how much this costs. I would guess maybe 350 to 400 if I were to guess. Um, this thing looks really cool though. So it has a folding stock, which is really cool. So if you're playing at a CQB field, obviously that is a really nice feature. So you don't have to have a, a huge carbine, but if you are playing outdoor, it's really nice to have that full stock. It just gives you kind of more precise shots. And you can kind of see like the little uh, gearbox in there, which is really nice. So it actually has a, uh, obviously a safety feature, a semi-automatic, three round burst, and then obviously a full auto feature. So that's really nice. If your field allows that, that's really cool to do three round burst. And obviously the magazine, it's a mid cap magazine. Pretty cool. This thing looks really nice. Cannot wait to shoot this in a sec. So obviously all these guns are really cool. I'm not sure if this has a battery, but I can see in there, there is Dean's and I do have those batteries and I believe I have batteries for all these guns here. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight into it and start with our Spaz, work way up to our GNG combat machine and then the Echo one, that crazy CQBR. And then we'll go to this uh, ASG Scorpion and we'll show you guys like the FPS of all of them and how well they shoot. Let's go straight into the shooting test. Got my shooting glasses on. Oh, that's really nice. Whoop, that's awkward.
Thank you guys so much for watching the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comments below if you wanted me to do more of those in the future. And if you guys want a chance actually to win all of the guns you saw in today's unboxing, I'm giving away one a week um, with all the accessories you did see in the box included as well. So you guys can kind of customize it and make it your own too. I give away a gun every single week on my club. It is called the airsoftclub.com. I have a private discord, exclusive videos for me that aren't on YouTube. And also you get patches and stickers when you sign up and percents off my other store when I do patch drops as well. Well. So if that is something that interests you and you want to be a part of the Airsoft Club community, it is the first link down in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out any of the videos and giveaways I do in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.